Hello, tonight we are going to be looking at dividing with multi-digit numbers. Our objective is you will learn to solve and check multi-digit division problems. Let's get started. Hopefully you've gotten into the habit of putting divide, multiply, subtract, or DMS somewhere on your paper so that keeps you um, in check and it keeps you on track. So let's get started. I just do a little check by it. Oopsie. Let's put a little... Oh, there we go. I'm all ready. We're going to start off by dividing. Can 35 go into 8? Nope. But it can go into 88. So I'm going to put the first number right here. And 35 plus 35 is 70. So I'm going to put 2 times. So I've divided. Then I multiply. 2 times 35 is 70. And then I subtract. 8 take away 0 is 8. And 8 take away 7 is 1. And I bring down the 8. And I begin multiplying again. Or I'm sorry, dividing. How many times can 35 go into 188? I'm just going to look over here. Well, I know that 35 plus, plus 35 is 70. And 70 and 70 would be 140. So that would be 4 times. I'm going to do 6 times. And I'm not going to try to do it in my head. I'm just going to multiply it up here. So 35 times 6. 6 times 5 is 30. Carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, 21. That is too high. So I'm going to do 35 times 5. 35 times 5. Kind of a weird multiplication sign there. So 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. So that's 15, 17. So 175. So I'm dividing it, and it goes in there 5 times. And I said it's 175. And I'm subtracting. And I get a 3 and a 1. So 25, remainder 13. So what I'm going to do now is I want you to get in the habit of checking. So I'm just going to erase this. And when we check, we do the quotient, which is the answer in a division problem. So this times that. And this is called the divisor. So I'm going to do 25 times 35. Boy, I kind of started off with a hard one for you guys. Just learn. But this is, this is good. And I'm doing this the traditional way. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. I'm no longer multiplying by the 1s. I'm multiplying by the 10s. Column, so I put a 0 here. 3 times 5 is 15. I carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. I add it up. And then, if I have a remainder, which I do, I add this to this. And let's see what we get. Oh, dear. Five plus three is eight. Seven plus one is eight. And eight plus zero is eight. And 888 and 888, they match. So chances are the problem is correct. Let's move on. The next problem we have is 450 divided by 15. Well, 15 can't go into the four but it can go into the 45. So we're going to start off there. And since we're going into the 5 part of the number, we're going to put our first number up right up here. 
So 15 goes into 45 three times, and then I multiply. 3 times 15 is 45, and then I subtract. Forty-five minus forty-five is zero. Well, we're not done because we have to bring down this number. Okay? And fifteen goes into zero how many times? It goes in there zero times. And zero times fifteen is zero, and then I subtract. Oopsie, and I've so I divided, multiplied, and subtract. So I want to keep this keeping up with checking it off so I don't get confused. So my answer when I subtract is 0. So my answer is 30. So what do I do to check it? I do the quotient, which is this, times this. So 30 times 15. Five times zero is zero. Five times three is 15. Okay, I'm no longer multiplying by the ones, I'm multiplying by the tens, so I'm gonna put a zero down. One times zero is zero. Three times one is three. And I'm done multiplying now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it up. So I get zero. Five, four. I have 450 here and 450 here. So chances are my answer is correct. Let's go on to another one. I know you're probably thinking, oh goodness sakes, this is going on and on and on. But I think it's really important that we do several together before I have you do one on your own. So the problem is, 1,001 divided by 77. Well, 77 can't go in 1, it can't go in 10, but it can go into 100. So my first number I put is going to be right here. So I'm dividing. 77 into 100 goes one time. And I multiply. 1 times 77 is 77. And now I subtract. And notice how I lined this up. The 77 is going right here. I didn't put it over here. I put it right where it belongs. And I have to borrow. So this becomes a 10. This is going to become a 9. <laughs> kind of a crazy 9. And this is a 0. 10 take away 7 is 3. 9 take away 7 is 2, and I bring down the next number, which is a 1. So now I say to myself, how many times can 77 go into 231? I'm going to say 3, so I'm going to just check it over here, because I, I can't do that in my head. If you can, that's great. I can't. Okay, so 3 times 7 is 21, carry that, so that's 3 times 7 is 21, 22, 23, bingo, yay. So I'm going to put it in, I'm, oh look at I kind of got a little bit behind, but I'm doing the dividing, and I'm multiplying 77 times 3 is 231 and I subtract and I get 0. So now I'm going to ask you for while I'm erasing this how do I check a division problem? Well you're right if you said I take this times that. So I'm going to do 13 times 77, and it doesn't matter if I put the 77 on top or the 13. Either way is fine in multiplication. 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2, 
7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Put the 0 here. 7 times 3 is 21. Carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. Yeah, hopefully I'm doing this right, you guys. Started daydreaming for a second. 1 times 0 is 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 plus 9 is 10. And look at bingo. 1,001 and 1,001. So chances are we did it right. I want you to try this problem. And I want you to divide it and then check your answer by, by multiplying your answer or your quotient by the divisor. And this you're going to put in your notebook. And we'll check this tomorrow in class. And there's no linked quiz to this. Okay, so you can pause that and work on that. And the next thing, vocabulary, the divisor is what you are dividing um, something by. The dividend is what is being divided. And the quotient is the answer. So you can write this down like this in your um, composition notebook, your math vocabulary notebook, or you can do it however makes the most sense to you. And the last thing before we leave is, do you have any questions? If so, you write them down and we will discuss them tomorrow. And that's it for now. Bye.